Have you ever noticed that your cat seems less friendly and more distant? Do you wish for those cozy times with your furry companion, but instead receive the cold shoulder? You're at the correct place then. We've come through the latest research and expert advice to bring you tips that actually work. From understanding cat psychology to mastering the art of the perfect pet, we've got it all covered. We're delving into 10 scientific ways to get a cat to like you today. Keep watching, because at the end of this video, you'll learn tried and true methods that will make you your cat's favorite person instead of simply another human. Let's get started. 1. Let the cat come to you first. Though some people go up to the cat area and try to pet them to win them over, remember this is a common mistake for cat lovers according to recent studies. People want to meet cats with a huge hug. Many kitties are drawn to allergic people since studies conducted in Switzerland have shown that when humans sit back and wait and concentrate on something else like reading a book cats are more likely to approach and less likely to run away. Another study conducted at the University of Zurich revealed that interactions endure longer and are more successful when the cat both starts and chooses when to stop an activity. Cats are highly independent animals who dislike being smothered with affection. They also require some personal space every now and then if their behavior shows signals of hostility. So it is advisable to terminate an uncomfortable connection before it strains a relationship. 2. Pet them where cats love it most. What is the preference of your cat for being petted? This question has confused numerous cat owners for centuries, but science has finally provided an answer. In a study conducted by the University of Lincoln in the United Kingdom, it was discovered that cats exhibit more positive behavioral responses, such as purring or kneading, when they are pet between the eyes and ears. However, they exhibit more negative responses, such as hissing, swatting, or swishing their tails, when they are pet around their tail area. This means that cats do not actually enjoy being stroked at the base of their tail, at least not for the majority of the 54 cats in the study. A total of 54 cats were included in the investigation. It is the belief of researchers that the tail region of a cat is an erogenous zone and that stroking this area of their body may result in excessive stimulation. The researchers likely refrained from touching the cat's belly due to the potential for injury. The belly area of a cat is extremely at risk, and touching it may be stressful or even threatening. Additionally, cats perceive petting as akin to grooming or licking, which occurs between two friendly cats. 3. What scent your cat loves? A cat's sense of smell is the primary method by which they identify people and objects. It is 14 times more sensitive than that of humans. If a cat is hesitant toward you, it is important to verify your fragrance as your cat may be avoiding it. It is possible that you possess the fragrance of another dog or cat. You may have the scent of another cat or dog on your trousers, or you may have strong scents such as perfume. Disinfectants deodorizers, if your cat retreats when they sniff your hands, it may be due to their dislike of the fragrance of your hands. Therefore, it is important to use odorless hand soaps, shampoos, hand sanitizers, and makeup remover wipes. You may believe that the scents disappear after a few hours, but your cat will continue to detect them for a while longer. 4. Approach them like a cat. Felines communicate primarily through scent and body language. The majority of felines greet each other with a nose-to-nose -nose sniff, and they boog to say hello, while humans shake hands. To strengthen your bond with a cat, try approaching them in the same manner as they would greet other felines. By gently offering your non-threatening fingertip at their nose level, your finger acts as a nose substitute for, and most cats will approach and sniff or investigate your finger. You may even receive a cheek rub. This is essentially a cat's way of greasing you. However, the cat may retreat if they are unsure about interacting with you. 5. Mimic Feline Scent If you are the owner of a dog, you are likely aware that dogs are naturally curious and enjoy investigating the new scents in their surroundings. However, cats are adverse to unusual scents. Most cats are not fond of change, relocation, or strangers, as they are anxious about unfamiliar odors and signs that they have not yet explored. If you prefer not to introduce new scents to a cat's residence, you may apply a cat pheromone to yourself. Pheromones are a form of chemical communication that all cats employ to engage with their surroundings and one another. 
The scent glands that surround their body are responsible for the emission of these messages. Different pheromones convey different signals to other cats, which in turn affect their behaviors. This is the reason your cat may nudge you or rub their body against objects. In doing so, they transmit pheromone messages. Pheromone sprays are frequently employed by cat proprietors to safeguard new objects or furniture. However, if you are the new object, you may desire to apply the spray to yourself in order to soothe a new cat. 6. Human Interaction Over Food In 2017, a study conducted at Oregon State University investigated the factors that most captivate cats. The scientists presented cats with a selection of food, toys, scents, and social interaction with humans, and they observed the cat's responses. Interestingly, the majority of cats preferred social interaction with humans over all other options, including food. Interestingly, recent research suggests that the presence of interactive toys, such as a wand toy with feathers, strings, or other prey-like attachments that evoke a cat's predatory behavior is what really attracts cats to humans. Engaging in frequent interactive play is an exceptional method for fostering a connection with your feline and ensuring their physical well-being. 7. Always leave an escape route. Cats are essentially cautious organisms. One method of promoting a cat's sense of security is to guarantee that they have an escape route at all times. They may experience anxiety or defensive behavior if their exit is obstructed. When approaching a cat, endeavor to maintain open doors or establish distinct pathways to other rooms. This demonstrates to the cat that you value their safety and space, which can contribute to the development of trust. You are more likely to earn their affection and make them feel secure in your presence by allowing them to come and go as they please. Don't forget, a cat that is at ease is a cat that is amiable. 8. Blink slowly but never stare. A cat perceives a long blink as a smile. Give a cat a steady, purposeful blink when you establish eye contact. This indicates that you are not a hazard and can assist in the establishment of trust. Conversely, gazing directly into a cat's eyes may be perceived as a challenge or threat, causing them to feel apprehensive. By blinking slowly and refraining from making prolonged eye contact, you convey a sense of tranquility and friendliness, making a cat feel more at ease and more inclined to approach you with inquiry and affection can be achieved through this subtle gesture. 9. Retreat at the right time. There are numerous indicators that a cat is dissatisfied with your actions or feels uneasy in your presence. Some of these indicators are overt, such as hissing and biting, while others are more subtle, such as the flattening of their ears or the twitching of their tails. If you recognize any of these signals, it is time to back off. Many cat lovers do not retreat when they receive negative feedback, primarily because they are so in love with petting and spending time with their felines that they fail to recognize that their cat is not enjoying the experience. While it is impossible to compel a cat to like you, a cat will be more inclined to trust you and return when they are ready. 10. Use treats strategically. You can motivate your cat to approach you by offering them a delicious, strong treat. However, this does not entail sprinkling them with treats throughout the day. Rather, you should use treats strategically to either reward positive social interactions or encourage a timid cat to approach you. Additionally, you can converse quietly with the cat as they consume the treat to establish a connection between your voice and the reward. Bonus tip, let them come to you. Cats are independent and wary of direct approaches. Allowing a cat to approach you on their own can help them feel more comfortable. Avoid calling or picking them up immediately. Instead, sit or kneel at their level and let them approach when ready. You can gently touch them or provide a treat to get them closer, but let them start. Respecting their boundaries and making them feel in charge increases the likelihood that they'll warm up to you and form a great relationship. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more pet care tips and tricks. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update and share your own cat bonding experiences in the comments below. Until next time, happy bonding.